Since I was a little girl, I was always drawn into the art world. Having a coloring book and color pencils was the most interesting thing to do for me. I was so amazed with how beautiful and unique each color was and how you can create different shapes and lines with it. I remember spending most of my days in my room, painting for hours and hours on end. Sitting on my bedroom floor and my mom would come and yell at me to sit on the table instead because it's not good for your back. But you know, kids never listen. And even now, I find myself doing it and I will remember what my mom used to say. Looking back at these moments makes me think how much I miss that feeling I used to feel sitting in my room alone painting and not thinking about anything, just myself and my painting, enjoying every moment and just having fun. At that time, there was no smartphones yet, no internet and social media to post your work. I remember I had my first phone when I was 18, I guess, which was one of those old ones with a keypad. And if I finish any painting or any art I made, I would happily and excitedly show it to my mom sister or my best friends when I saw them, but mostly I kept my work to myself and if I was satisfied or happy with it, that was enough for me. I thought that one day I'll be sharing my work with the whole world, which is just amazing. And to hear the feedback and love from people all around the world. Also to build friendships with fellow artists and to have people supporting your work. It's really insane and overwhelming at the same time.
you begin to grow and sell your art, things become different than what you thought they'd be. At first, you find yourself enjoying sharing your work and posting regularly and connecting with people. But growing a small business requires posting more often, taking lots and lots of pictures of your work, always updating your followers and reminding them of you so they won't forget you which sometimes can be stressful and a bit tiring to do as an artist. <laughs> so you find yourself going through an art blog and then you feel like taking a break from everything and you struggle to continue enjoying what you love to do and you feel lost in enjoying what you love the most. And that's simply because you are constantly working and not taking breaks. Sometimes you even find yourself working on your days off, which I do all the time. So I think I'm gonna stop now. My battery actually is dying and also it's getting dark outside. So I think I'm gonna stop now and maybe continue tomorrow when the lighting is better. So yeah, so see you tomorrow. So I think for an artist to be creative, feel happy making art and having a fresh mind and ideas, you have to organize your days and take breaks from time to time, maybe try different mediums, go out in nature or meet your friends and especially try to avoid working on weekends. And when you feel your body is tired, try to really listen to it and take longer breaks if you feel you have to, without feeling guilty, because it's really gonna help you in the long run. After you come back, you will feel more fresh and productive. That's what I'm doing now and trying to incorporate into my daily habit. Also I'm trying to avoid staying on my phone much and on social media 
which sometimes can really affect our mood. In conclusion, I think the pressure of presenting your work and running your small business will never decrease, but knowing how to handle it without affecting your daily productivity is essential for maintaining a healthy mind and productive life. And trying to take breaks as much as you can is always important and can help a lot. envy that little girl in me that had all the time in the world to draw and experiment just for the fun of it
involved in nature has really helped my mental health and healed my heart and mind in a way I can't describe. You suddenly feel like a little child and you forgot about the passing hours due to the pure enjoyment of what you are doing and that can be very special. Hearing the bird sounds and the wind caressing your face and the trees dancing with the wind, it's so beautiful and calming. You suddenly feel alive and you can feel your spirit lighter. I always dreamed of that moment, sitting under the tree on a beautiful day, painting. And I haven't painted for a long time. I've been more eager lately to spend my days just painting, using watercolor and other mediums. I feel like I lost my touch with painting and now I have to practice more often so I can be good at it again. Sorry about the noise, it was a little bit windy, but I didn't mind it. It was refreshing and the weather was lovely and not very cold. You can feel the spring is already here in the air.
cannot tell you how happy I felt in that day. Not thinking about anything, just enjoying the moment. I'm so glad that I decided to go out and I can't wait to do it again.